Namaste and welcome to the Yogi Me Happy Christmas special. I hope you're having a nice festive season so far and I um, hope you're looking forward to fitting in a bit of yoga as well. So, starting off, sitting nice and comfortably and crossing the legs, getting the flesh away from the sit bones, palms face down on the knees. As you inhale, lift up through the back body. As you exhale, big sigh. Soften the shoulders away from the ears, close the eyes. Get ready to shed off any tension, any worries through the body. Any of that physical stresses that are manifesting themselves through the joints, through the muscles. Again, this time of the year can be somewhat stressful sometimes, so giving yourself a moment to relax and breathe. As we take the time to soften and slow the breath, Releasing the shoulders away from the edges, lifting the inner body, stretching out through the spine, lengthening the neck. Again, those deeper breaths moving their way around the body, softening and releasing. Helping to shed off any of that anxiety again that we associate with the year of running around finishing off last minute projects for work getting things ready for the family running around and getting those last minute christmas presents and just starting to slow it down for a moment releasing the inhale breath a little deeper through the sides of the body all the way down to that space underneath the belly button Starting to let those breaths expand and fall. Tracing the path of the breath as it comes in through the nostrils, all the way through the sides of the body, into that lower tummy. And again, as you exhale, feel it releasing from the body. Watching that quality of breath. a nice heave and a flow, inhaling and exhaling deeply, and keeping hold of that as we begin our practice today. Bringing those hands into prayer, setting a dedication for openness and honesty for your practice today. And with that in mind, gently blinking the eyelids open and raise the gaze. Namaste. So, nice big expansive breath as you inhale, reach up through the sides, lifting and lengthening out, and as you exhale, let those arms come out nice and wide. Inhale again, lifting up, opening that space around the ribcage, extending out through the side body. As you exhale, close it down. Inhale again, lift. Noticing how that feels for the shoulders, those rotator cuffs are releasing as you exhale, start to release and relax. One more big breath in. And then big breath out. Bringing that right hand a little further away from the body, keeping it in line with the right hip as you inhale, open up through the left hand side. Gazing up towards the fingertips if you possibly can. On the next exhale, bending through that supporting elbow, let the shoulder fall away from the ear. Maintain that lift through the left side of the chest. And those deeper breaths moving their way through the body, nice and long and open. And as you inhale, sweep it all the way up. Again, drawing that left hand a little further away from the body as you inhale, reaching up through the right palm. Next, exhale, pushing into that um, opposite sit bone as you drop into the left elbow. Those breaths getting deeper and longer with every inhale and exhale. Moving their way down the side body, lengthening the ribcage, lifting the chest. And then inhale, sweeping it up. Bring those fingertips behind the base of the spine as you start to squeeze the elbows towards each other. Drop the shoulders, inhale, lift the breastbone, let the body release and relax. 
maybe coming down into both palms if you have the space. Keeping the squeeze through the elbows, elevating the chest. Try and keep the neck nice and soft. And then lift all the way up as you take the hands forward. Plant fingertips into the floor. Start to push into the base of the, the tailbone, letting it fall down towards the floor. So as you get that nestling feeling through the low spine, through the base of the tailbone, inhale up through the middle body. As you exhale, start to release and relax. Next inhale, gonna hold the breath. So as you inhale, push into the fingertips. Lift in those muscles underneath the belly button, tuck the chin in towards the chest, strengthen the arms. Hold it here. And then exhale. And let everything soften and relax at the shoulders release. Let the belly fall. Big breath in and out, just to reset. And then again on the next inhale, push into the fingertips. Lift up and lengthen the back body. Start to tuck the head, stretching the shoulders, tuck in. Stay here. And then slow, controlled exhale. Relax the body, releasing the belly. Big breath in and out to reset. One last time. Push into the fingertips. Lift and lengthen. Tuck the head. Stretch the neck. Hold it here. And then softly exhale, release and relax. Leaving the left hand where it is, bring the right hand behind the base of the spine. As you inhale, push down into the fingertips and elevate the back body. As you exhale, soften the shoulders and start to gently twist. Again, just warming up the spine, lengthening and lifting as you inhale, softening and releasing those edges as you exhale. it back to the front, change sides, again inhale, face forward, lift up, exhale, soften shoulders and gently twist. Again use that length of breath to soften a little further, let the shoulders fall, let that lifting action through from the base of the spine to the crown of the head to continue with each inhale. Making your way up to standing, if you can, without using the hands, rolling around through the ankle joints, get to the bottom of the legs, waking up. As we come to the top of the mat for a couple of rounds of sun salutations. So before we begin, making sure that we have that nice base through the feet, that grounding action through all 10 toes and all the way through to the heels. So lifting up those 10 toes as you exhale, start to plant them into the mat. Softening the knees, pushing down through the base of the tailbone, lifting the chest and drop those hands into the breath. Again, that breath moving its way freely into the belly center as you inhale, expand. And as you exhale, let it fall. One more of those big breath in. Big breath out. Next inhale, reach the arms up, nice and tall through the upper body, reaching out to the fingertips as you exhale, extend it forward. Nice and long down the back body, releasing and relaxing the right foot back, drop the knee, roll the shoulders open, look up, hold the breath, left foot back into plank. First round, as you exhale, soften knees, chin, chest, tuck the elbows nice and open as you tuck, arms up the toes, roll it forward, drop the shoulders back into cobra. Top toes, child's pose, sit down towards the heels, lengthen out all the way through the sides of the body, drop the head. Use a big long inhale breath to lift up through the base of the spine into downward dog. And as you exhale, drop the heels, shift the weight away from the shoulders, lengthen the back body. Inhaling, send that right foot forward in between the hands, drop the knees. If you need to, manually lift it to make sure it's underneath that right kneecap, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, left foot comes in, drop the head, lift the bottom, extend it out through the back body. Inhaling, reaching forward, extending out with a nice straight spine, lift, exhale, drop it back. Big grounding breath here. Again, that softness returning as you exhale. 
Inhale, moving forward and up. Lift and extend the lower back body. As you exhale, moving it all the way down to the base of the spine, relaxing the head and the neck. Inhale, left foot comes back, drop the knee, roll the shoulders. Hold the breath, right foot back into plank. As you exhale again, first round, just gently coming down with ease into our Ashtanga knees, chin, chest. Untuck toes, roll it forward into our low cobra. Tuck toes, big exhale breath as you lengthen all the way down the sides of the body, relax the head. Inhale, lifting up into downward facing dog. And as you exhale, push into the heels, lengthen through the back body. Inhale, breath, send that left foot forward, right kneecap down. Exhaling, right foot comes in, relax the head. Big breath, bending the knees if you need to, coming up with that straight back, lifting through the pelvis, extending through the hips. Exhale, bring it back. Again, big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale again, lengthening down the back body, reaching out through the spine, relaxing the head. Inhaling, right foot. Hold the breath, left foot. If you want to, this time you can chaturanga coming down halfway, bending through the elbows. Inhaling into up dog or cobra, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Exhale as you tuck the belly in towards that lower spine and lift into downward dog. Inhale, breath in that right foot forward, drop the left knee. Exhaling, the left foot comes in, relax the head. Again, as you inhale, reach it forward, open out along the back body, lift. Exhale, bring it back in. Again, that big long open breath into the space underneath the belly button, that grounding sensation as you exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, extend forward. Inhale, left foot back, drop knee. Hold the breath, right foot back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga on knees, chin, chest. Inhale, use the lift. Drop it back through the shoulders, exhale, coming all the way up and back. Inhale, left foot comes forward, drop the right knee. Exhale, right foot in. Again, take that whole breath, reach forward, nice long extension through the spine, lift. Exhale, bring it back. And centering the energy here, Starting to come into Shavasana, sorry, Tadasana, our mountain pose. Take time to bring the heels underneath the hips. Again, lift all ten toes, feel the ground underneath your feet. Soften the knees, relax the arms, close the eyes. Again, in Tadasana, the aim of our pose is to let the body relax, process. That work that we've done so far, bringing things back into balance. So again, just checking the quality of the air as it comes through the nostrils, as it leaves the body, that extension of breath. Feeling those breaths moving their way again beyond the belly button, nice and long and open. And that softness returning to the shoulders as you exhale. From here, blinking the eyelids open. And on the inhale, breath, sweep the arms up. Nice and tall through the upper body as you exhale, swan dive forward. Fingertips onto the front of the shins, inhale up halfway, create a nice long spine. And as you exhale, let it roll forward and relax. 
I'm just taking a couple of breaths here just to ease the upper body down towards the floor. Keep the knees nice and soft. Keep the weight gently dripping down towards the floor through the crown of the head. No tension through the neck, through the upper body. So those breaths will be connecting their way back into the belly center. Bring your hands down beside the front of the feet and take your right foot back. Coming into our runner's lunge, so pushing your way through that right heel, dropping the hips so that they're in line with that right heel, moving that weight up through the crown of the head, lengthening and opening through the midline of the body. Draw the shoulders back, open the chest, big slow breaths in and out. And then from here, walking the fingertips slightly back towards the centre body as you lengthen out through that left leg. So coming into pyramid pose, drawing back through that right heel, making sure that the right hip doesn't join you, draw it back to the front of the room. Inhale up halfway, lift the chest, and as you exhale, see if you can flatten the belly along that left thigh. If you have the space, you can walk the hands forward to elevate that stretch along the side body. Deep, slow breaths here. Again, letting the back of the legs open and release. And then from here, walking the hands around to the side of the mat, coming on to both heels, turning the toes to face towards the right wall. Walking your hands so that they're underneath the shoulders as you inhale, lift up halfway. Then lengthen the spine and as you exhale, let the body fall and relax. Inhale up halfway, lift the chest, draw the shoulders back in, and as you exhale, let it fall and release. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, let it fall. So you can drop the crown of the head down, you can bring the elbows down, you can walk the hands back through the legs, palms face up. Anything is possible, anything that feels good for you and lets your breath flow easily through the body. So just take time to release that lower spine for a moment. One more exhale here. And then walk back into the centre line. From here, keeping the legs in a nice open line and the hips moving in the same direction, coming to rest over towards the left foot. So you're stretching the inside of that right thigh. You keep the little toe side of the right foot pushing down towards the floor and keep the chest lifted to take the weight of the body through the centre rather than going into those legs. And then making your way over towards the opposite side. Again, stretching out along the inside of that left thigh. And then coming to face the front of the mat, as you turn around to bring that left set of toes all the way through, coming onto the right set of toes and sweeping the left foot back. You have a choice now if you want to, you can one leg do chaturanga or you can knee to chin chest into our up dog or cobra, roll it back, lift up. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. So take a moment to reset in downward dog, paddle out through the feet. Sway the hips nice and wide. Starting to reset the hands if you need to, sway them wider, pushing into the heels of the hands, lengthening the back of the neck. Just resting here now, avoiding that tendency to fuss and fidget. If you want to, close the eyes again, just blocking out any extra variables, letting that breath move its way deeper into that belly centre. And then making the eyelids open if they're not already, as you inhale, take the right foot up and back, three-legged dog. As you exhale, draw the right kneecap in towards heart centre, lift up high over the wrists. Inhale, push back into the left heel, push the right heel back, flatten out along the back of the leg. 
Exhale, draw it in and over towards the left elbow. Inhale, push it up and back. Exhale, over towards the right elbow. You can either stay here for a couple of breaths or you can lengthen that right foot out, squeeze the thighs towards each other or you can drop the right foot down, roll over onto the big toe side of the left foot and lift up into the fallen star. Again, big breaths in and out, take a moment to lift the chest, lift the hips and then release the hand back down. Everybody moving up and back into our three-legged dog. As you exhale, draw the right foot in between the hands. Drop the left heel. Next inhale, sweep the arms out wide. And come up into warrior one. Soften the shoulders, soften down through the hips. And those breaths moving deeper into that space underneath the body, belly center, lengthening out all the way down through that spinal column. Next inhale, raise the arms, raise the gaze. And as you exhale, sit your hands behind the back. Bring those hands into clasp. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, and let the hands fall down towards that left thigh. Next inhale, raise the gaze. Open the chest a little further, and as you exhale, come forward into Humble Warrior. And your head doesn't have to come all the way down, just watching out for those right bum cheeks, making sure they don't sweep all the way out to the side. If you can, bring the heels of the hands together, the thumbs together. Next inhale, come all the way up. Pushing down through the right heel, lifting out through both sides. And as you exhale, bring the hands down beside the front foot and bring the right foot back. And just gently swaying those hips from the left to right, resetting in our downward dog. Deep, slow breaths here. And then bend the knees, gazing through the hands. Crump or stepping in between the hands, tuck the head, let the upper body fall. Inhaling, run like a swan dive, lift and open the chest. Exhale, centering the energy. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, open the arms out wide. Exhale, swan dive forward, nice and long through the back body. Inhale up halfway. Pull the shoulder heads back in as you exhale again. Let the upper body fall and relax. Have a bit of a longer stretch for our back body as you bring the hands underneath the feet. Toes pointing towards those wrists if you can, touching the wrists. Softening the knees if you need to and then reset the head. So tuck the head to look between the kneecaps. As you inhale, lift the back body, stretching out through the underside of the pelvis and letting everything else fall down towards those thighs. Bring a little bit more weight through the pads of the feet. Again, stretching out as much as you can through that lower spine. And then releasing that stretch, taking the hands away from the feet, bringing the hands down beside those feet, that bring the left foot back. And we're coming up into our runner's lunge. First of all, roll the shoulders back, pulling forward through the breastbone, create a nice open space across the chest. Push a little deeper into that left heel. And the breath's moving evenly through the body, softening out through that low spine. And then walking the fingertips back a little, so we can lift those hips in a nice straight line from left to right. Stretching out through the back of the kneecap, opening up through the torso. As you inhale, lift up high into the fingertips, lengthen the body. And as you exhale, flatten the belly along that right side, relax the head. Again, if you want to, you can let the arms come forward, stretching out even further along the spine. 
Just watching those hips, see if you can bring that right hip a little further back, the left hip a little further forward. Nice and long and open through the breath. And then lifting up and making your way to face towards the left wall. I'll do it facing the other way so you can see what I'm up to. But you'd be facing the left wall. So we bring the hands again underneath the shoulders as you inhale, elevate the chest. Open it up, nice and long through the torso as you exhale, soften it down. A little longer this time down the leg, a little more open. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, soften it down. Inhale, lift it up. Big long breaths, exhale, soften it down. Inhale, lift up. This time bring the hands a little further forward through those shoulders, but they're still the same width as the shoulder girdle. And on the next inhale, you're gonna lift up onto those palms, lifting high up onto the big toes. And as you exhale, and roll the way back. Again, use that inhale to lift up. Making sure you don't sink into the shoulders. Exhale, come down. Inhale to lift up. And exhale to come down. And then from here, we're going to walk our hands over towards the left toes, lifting up through that left heel and lifting the right toes up. So coming into a nice gentle squat, stretching out through the underside of that right leg. And try and lift the chest, roll the shoulders back and down so you have that full support for the upper body. And then making your way over towards the other side, lifting up off that right heel and lifting those left toes up. And then moving your way round to face the front of the mat. Again, those right toes reaching forward. And lifting up onto those left toes, sweep the right foot back. Either cheek three-legged chaturanga or knee string chest. Use your exhale. Inhaling into up dog or cobra. Exhale, moving back into our downward facing. Again, any paddling of the feet, any swaying of the hips. That's fine. Just moving gently up through those heels and the hands. Again, spray the fingertips nice and wide, pushing down through the whole of the pads and the hands as we elevate the neck. Lifting the shoulders. Resetting that back body. And with that breath restored, back into the belly center. As you inhale, sweep the left foot up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, draw the kneecap in, high and towards heart centre, tuck the head, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale up and back, flatten out through the left foot. And as you exhale, come over towards the left elbow. Inhale up and back. Exhale over towards the right elbow. And then you can either stay here. Or you can lengthen the leg out, or you can drop the foot down, roll over onto the big toe side of the right foot, and lift up through the body into our fallen star. That line of energy strong from left wrist to right middle finger. Sit the right hand down, reset. As you inhale, sit that left foot up and back into three-legged dog. And as you exhale, draw the kneecap in and heel to the foot in between the hands. Right heel comes down. Again, don't worry if you need to reset the legs. Inhale, sweep up into warrior one. Exhale, soften it down. Can that move, that breath moving through the back body, lifting the rib cage, softening out through the edges of the shoulders. Next inhale, reaching the arms up. As you exhale, open them nice and wide. Bring the hands into clasp. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Softening the hands down towards the right thigh. And next inhale, lift the gaze. As you exhale, lengthen forward, all the way up through the back body. 
You should come down into your humble warrior, just being mindful of that left hip moving its way out the side of the body. And on the next inhale, come slowly up through that middle body, reaching the arms up, reset. As you exhale, soften the hips, soften the shoulders, big breath in, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide and bring that left foot back. Again, just let the body reset here, sway the hips slightly, push into the heel of the head. So deepening those breaths back into our downward facing dog, feeling that lift energy through from the heels of the hands, tailbone down to the heels. And with bending the knees, gazing through the hands, jump a step in between the hands, let the head fall, release. Inhale, reverse swan dive, lift open. Exhale, drop it back. Relax the shoulders, big breath in and out. Bring that right knee into the wall of the chest. Settling into the tree pose, taking the foot right onto the upper leg, lower leg, slightest not onto the knee joint. Shoulders soften. Hips lifting and releasing that lower spine. If you want to, you can lift the arms up into full tree pose. Again, lengthening the back body, opening up to the breath. Kneecap comes in and releasing that foot down. Coming onto the other side, lengthening the body. Again, bringing that foot onto the inside of the right thigh or lower leg, wherever feels comfortable for you today. And just slowing the breath down for a moment. If you want to, sweeping the arms up into our full tree pose, feeling that line of energy strong from the heel of the right foot out towards those fingertips. And letting the breath calm down, the mind relax. And then softening those hands into prayer. And left kneecap comes in, let the knees sit down. Inhale, open the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Gently lifting up onto the toes, lift the heels, drop into those heels. The knees in line with the hips, penetrate the chest, bring the hands into the prayer. And that breath long and open as we extend up through the tailbone to the crown of the head. And then gently sitting down onto the sit bones as we lift up through the knees. Taking the hands underneath those uh, kneecaps, elevate the spine and the next inhale, drop the shoulders. Big breath in. As you exhale, settle back through the back body, release the shoulders open wide, palms facing the ceiling. Deepen the breath all the way along to the belly center, relax the shoulders, big breath in. As you exhale, right foot comes to straight. Inhale, lift in. Exhale, left leg to straight. Inhale, lift in. Exhale, both legs. Just a couple of breaths here, nice and soft through the shoulders. And then draw the knees in, hug around the shins, relaxing the head. From here, lifting the gaze, drop the feet. Left leg comes forward. Or you can bring it over towards the right sit bone, whatever's more comfortable for you. Just making sure both sit bones are on the floor, right foot onto the opposite edge of that knee. Right hand behind the base of the spine as you inhale, lift the left arm, stretch. 
as you exhale, dropping over towards that right shin. Keep breath in and up. Exhaling, gently twist from that lower spine all the way through to the crown of the head. And then left hand underneath that right shin. If you want to, you can bind. Just be aware of that left shoulder rolling in and the body sinking. Feel that nice elevation through the back body at all times. And then releasing that twist, bring the hands back, lifting the legs, dropping down to the other side again if you want to. You can have that right leg straight if it's more comfortable for the hips. Left hand behind the base of the spine, right arm lifts up, lengthening. As you exhale, dropping the elbow, face forward, lift up. As you exhale, soften the shoulders and gently lift the chin. And you quite often design, just feel that lift through the lower back, making sure that you don't sink into that lower spine. And then relax, come all the way through to the front. Bring both feet back as you reach the arms forward and roll down onto the floor. Bring your hands alongside the body, bring the heels close towards the sit bones. We start to lift up into our bridge pose. Make sure you have a long neck, so tuck the chin a little in towards the chest, not tightly, just to lengthen the back of the neck. Big breath in, tuck in those pelvic floor muscles, roll them up as you elevate the hips. As you exhale, roll down through the spine, take the whole breath to release the bottom onto the floor. Inhale again, lift up. Slowly and gently. Exhale, lengthen. This time coming up to stay up, so rolling up. And clasping the hands underneath to roll the shoulders. Again, extending up through the back body. See if you can bring the big toes sides of the feet closer towards the floor to lengthen the thighs. Deep in the breaths here. One more big breath in, and then gently release those shoulders and roll down through the floor. Lifting both kneecaps in, little bunny hop to release the low spine. Grabbing hold of the back of the left thigh, take the right ankle on top of that left knee. As you exhale, draw the left shin closer towards the body and push the right kneecap away with that right arm. Bring the right foot to flat onto the floor, nice and long through that right leg, and then kick the left heel to 90 degrees up towards the ceiling, stretching through the back of that left leg. Flexing both feet, lifting up. And then bringing both knees in towards the chest. Bending the hands to grip behind the back of the right thigh, left ankle onto the right knee. Again, as you draw that right thigh closer towards your body, bring the left arm onto the inside of the left thigh to draw it further away, stretching through the outer edge of that leg. Gentle breaths. And then keeping the grip with the right hand, with the hands, kick the left foot straight, nice and long. As you inhale, kick the right heel up. Again, 90 degrees if you can, flexing both feet. And then releasing that foot to the floor, starting to bring the arms out into Shavasana legs, nice and relaxed, toes forming open. If you have any trouble through that low spine, then gently bringing the legs into any variation you want to, bound angle pose, 
We're just bringing the knees up, feet in that width apart, releasing that low spine. As you inhale, draw the shoulders in. As you exhale, big sigh. Close the eyes. And you can relax. Again, just taking a moment to feel the toes be heavy, the legs soften. Soften all the muscles around the back of the thighs, relax. Maybe the hips open. Tension through the low spine, shoulder blades melting towards the floor, the arms heavy. Deep breath moving freely through the body. Relaxing the muscles of the face. Resting the awareness onto the center of the eyebrows. Feeling free to stay here as long as you want. Or oh, starting to bring the feet together, lift the arms over the head, stretching out along that midline of the body. And then making your way over onto the right hand side, just taking a breath here. Slowly coming back at the end, still with eyes closed into our comfortable cross legged position. Bringing the backs of the hands onto the knees, thumb and forefinger together. Inhale to open the inner elbows. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Those deeper breaths into that belly center. And as always, taking the time to thank yourself for your practice today. For spending the time to do something good for your body, for your mind. Reconnecting easing away any tension and stress, holding on to that open space, that deeper breath that you've created through your practice today, taking it throughout the festive season and as always being mindful of your body and of your breath. Bringing the palms together, rubbing them to one. Placing the hands as cups over the eyes, fluttering those eyelids open in the darkness and bringing the hands down into prayer. Namaste. Thank you very much for you joining us on this Christmas special, this Made Me Happy Christmas special and I hope that you have a wonderful festive season and I look forward to seeing you in 2017. Namaste. Om Shanti.